Survivor Series 2023 is in the books and here on Fog Wrestling it is going to be ranking every match from the pay-per-view. Now there only was five in total. It wasn't a good pay-per-view. You know, the only highlight really is the returns of Randy Orton and CM Punk. But here we are in the last place, fifth place. We've got Gunther against The Miz. A match that was about 20 minutes too long. No need for it to be this long. Like I said at the time, why? Like, what's the actual need? Because we knew Gunther's going to win. This match could go three minutes and it gets the job done. You know, Gunther dominates. Miz gets his wee 20 seconds of offense and you think he's going to win with the skull crush finale. Boom, Gunther counters it. Good night. We can all go home happy. Instead of what we got, which is a boring match where you knew the Miz has got no chance. And honestly, it's like, it's like what, what are we doing here? Are we, race, are we racing our ping pong? In all seriousness, man, absolute abysmal, abysmal, abysmal. The match went 12 minutes, 20, 10 minutes too long, honest. 10 minutes too long. And I think when a, I think when a wrestling match goes 10 minutes too long, was a major issue, unless it's like, you know, a, a Royal Rumble match and it doesn't go that long. Now, who am I to bury it too much? But uh, that leaves us with our next match, which was Rhea Ripley taking on Shoei Starks. Again, another match, 9 minutes 15. Rhea Ripley's not losing, I get it. The, the gulf between these two is nowhere near the likes of Miz and Gunther, but at the same time, you know... <laughs> I'd like to see, I'd like to see a difference. I'd like to see a change in this product where we have just got title matches where you know certain people can't win. It's ridiculous. Like Roman Reigns at the start, and when even when he was taking on Rhodes and like McIntyre and shit, you thought he could lose. See no, he's never gonna lose. And I think that's part of the reason why they're keeping them off TV. Honestly, I I genuinely think that. Um, but for this match it sucked I mean Rhea Ripley see when Rhea Ripley's like an 11 out of 10 compared to Zoe Stark that's when you know Zoe Stark ain't the best looking alien thing to look at man it really really is that simple match bland boring we knew who was going to win garbage another match that was boring and sucked Santos Escobar against Dragon Lee I think it's I honestly think I am flabbergasted that Dragon Lee was on the main card at Survivor Series. Can someone honestly explain that to me? Can someone honestly, you know, write 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 the answer down? Imagine pretending Carlito's injured just so Dragon Lee can take his place. Imagine shafting Carlito out of a Survivor Series match. Like, what is that all about, man? Honestly. Absolutely, absolutely horrendous this was. I mean, the match itself, right, it's not awful, but to actually replace Carlito with this bum is phenomenal. Like, and not in a good way, it's a phenomenon of absolute job or a clock, man. And that leads us to our second place on this list. And the podium positions weren't good. We had the women's war games, again, a sloppy match. Bailey just seemed to take all the spots for our team. Now, the spot we... Um, I O Sky jumping from the top with the uh, trash can. You know, that was a fun spot. I'll admit that. But at the same time, there's only so much one spot can carry a match, and this spot ain't it, I'm afraid. Damage control lose. Team Bianca win. This match went 33 minutes and 35 minutes. That's near 35 minutes. Of my life, I'm not getting back. And then we got the last match, of course, which was Team Cody against Team Judgment Day. Did not care for this in the slightest. But what it did have was the return of Randy Orton and also the return of Punk. Now, yes, the match was already over when Punk came out, but it's still like a part of the segment, it's still part of the match. So for me, I'm going to count it as something different. Um, but at the same time, the match itself, it was just land it was good seeing Orton get his moves in I'm not denying that but like they, they throw JD Madonna off the top of the steel cage just for an RKO that doesn't even win the match like it was a good spot but why not end the match oh but Cody Rhodes has, has got to win with the crossroads in the match that his daddy created 
Seriously? Is that is that the state of pro wrestling in 2023? Because Dusty Rhodes created this match about 30 fucking 40 years ago. We have to get let his son pick up a a worse victory than what the guy who would have won actually been. Garbage and see back in the day, man. War games matches were so much better. Now I I don't like the concept. Like there'd be blood, you know, like the like the pin at the end would be like mental, it'd be like all these bodies and you know, a body would crawl over and get the final pin. See in this match is like you've got the five guys just surrounding you've got the five faces surrounding the one heel. I don't like that look. I like a look where it's survival of the fit. It's like when Shawn Michaels defeats Triple H, man. Blood everywhere on the Elimination Chamber. Not this garbage. Anyway, that's your list. Till next time. Peace.